instructions on how to uh, watch a DVD from your MacBook Air to an Apple T TV device using a uh, application called VLC uh, Player. Uh, we have to download a VLC Player app for your MacBook because uh, Apple TV doesn't understand regular DVD language, so we have to download this program and that and then an Apple TV is able to understand it and play it. Uh, so right now I have my MacBook Air that most of the staff got. And I also have a uh, DVD player that's hooked up to the USB port of the MacBook Air. And if you notice to the right, I have my DVD already uh, on my desktop ready to go. So the next thing I need to have to do is come down and come to Applications. Find my VLC player launch it and then come up the file open disk now you're gonna have four choices you can go file disk network or capture hit disk if you have a DVD if it's a DVD disk and then hit open if you notice it found the disk and now it's just gonna go through the motions and uh, figure it out and figure what it needs to do to play it And there you go, your movie's all set to go. Now the next step is come up to the top right hand corner of the menu bar and go to your Apple uh, AirPlay icon, the little monitor with the arrow. Click on it and now you want to select what device, what TV you're going to send the stream to. So I'm going to select uh, the library one. The screen changes, so right now I'm streaming to the library. There are two settings you can use that help, uh, that you can play around with. If you come down, you have, notice it will say mirror built-in display or extend desk desktop. If you go to the mirror built-in display, it will just clone whatever you're seeing on your desktop on the TV. So what you see is what you get. If you extend your desktop, you could actually have, so it creates another, uh, like another desktop. So you could actually play the movie on one part of your desktop, which will be seen on the Apple TV, and then on your desktop, still do grades and stuff like that, and that won't show on your Apple TV. If you go further down, it says you can match your desktop size to the built-in display, which will be your MacBook, or you can match your desktop size to whatever Apple TV you're shooting it to. So I can make a GMHS library, and it'll make it the size of the TV, whatever uh, resolution and uh, ratio I have for my TV out there. I can't show you because if I hit it, it'll disconnect my uh, recording, but you, those are two things you can do. And the other thing we want to do in the VLC menu is come up to audio, and you want to come down to audio device. And to the right, you have three options, system sound output device, AirPlay or built-in output. You want to select AirPlay because obviously it wants to use whatever TV is hooked up to AirPlay and use those speakers. If you choose the other two, they'll play on your MacBook. The other settings you can go to is video and you can fit it to screen. You can make it full size or whatever you like and then you're good to go.